Hey YouTube, so it's the winter time here in Vancouver. Vancouver Talks is more difficult to film during the winter because it's cold and it's raining and most people are not really out. Everybody kind of stays inside. We're really sensitive to rain here in Vancouver. That's the reason why they call it Vancouver. So I've been doing this YouTube thing for about three years and I think I finally have some haters. For the most part, most of the comments on the YouTube videos are good ones. Uh, supportive, give hints and suggestions to how to make my videos better. I'm gonna go through some of the hater comments I get and uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to be nice. I'll try to be nice to them. Uh, I'll try to give these haters suggestions to make their comments better hate comments. Being productive is more important. If you're gonna post a hater comment, check your spelling and check your grammar. Especially if you're from outside of Canada or the United States and you're overseas and you're trying to hate on someone that understands the English language or has been educated in the English language, it's kind of difficult to get your hater comment through and give it that hating bang that you want to, you know, to hurt my feelings. So pay attention, like this first one here, please pay intentions to your teeth. I think the word he's looking for is pay attention to your teeth. My teeth was stained because I drink a lot of bubble tea. Bubble tea is great but the tea stains my teeth. And my teeth is not rotten or anything, it's just that it's got tea stains. Coffee stains your teeth as well. Even if the grammar was correct on that thing, it doesn't seem like a hating comment. It seems like a comment where, hey man, I think you should clean your teeth. It's a suggestion, but he follows up. Right after that, he puts in, can you open your eyes? And I believe this is a racist Asian comment to me having small eyes. And first of all, be original when you're trying to hate because I've heard this many times. I even make fun of myself using that same racist. If you have the intentions to put out a hater comment, make it so it's above and beyond. Make it so it punches through my heart, like puts a dagger through my heart. Make it that strong. Because if you just slightly make it, I, I'm kind of not sure if you're a suggestion or it's a hater comment or you're confused. You didn't even ask the question in the title. Clickbait, question mark. If you're gonna hate on one of the videos, you know, watch the video and make a hate comment that is relevant to the video. This video was called Why is Dating in Vancouver So Difficult? And it's actually referring to an article that was in a Vancouver social media website that documents Vancouver stuff. The article was titled, Why is this so difficult to date in Vancouver? And inside that article, there was other sub questions. I only asked sub questions. So if you actually pay attention and actually read the description, this comment's kind of useless. You just seem like you're stupid and didn't really pay attention to the video at all and you just skim through it which is cool you gave me that view but it just makes you look stupid who the fuck cares none of you belong here go home you do not belong in the west this comment was on a video called how can you tell asians apart and i'm pretty sure this person's being racist and saying that we're all immigrants and we shouldn't belong in the west uh, being North America. I don't know because he's not referring to where he's from. So if you actually let me know where you're from, then I can actually coordinate if to your west or to your east of you, where you're living. So it makes more sense. This comment is not original. I've heard this many times. I've even made fun of this myself, to myself. I have nothing else to say to that. I'm pretty sure here we built the railways here to help the country, but I'm not gonna go into that because uh, it's a bit sensitive topic. While my comments got erased, I'm pretty sure this video is run by Jews and so and so. I, I really don't know what to say to that. Um, he's upset his comments got erased. I did not erase the comments. I try not to actually erase comments. Except for his like real, real spam. Like freaking, hey, I'm horny. Uh, check out my website, xxx.bits.yu or something strange. Like, that's spam. That's probably a bot that typed it in. Does this person have something against Jews? I'm confused. So you're not hating on me or the video, you're pretty much hating on Jews, which has nothing to do with this video that was commented on, nor my channel. Your comment's in other space. It's like completely not even in context to anything. If you're gonna hate on me, be creative, be original. Then I can take those hate with more feelings. This is one of my favorite ones. He's clearly a Jimmy Zhang fan. Shout out to Jimmy Zhang, your interviews are amazing from New York. Uh, watch his channel. This person's completely dissing my skills as an interviewer and he's comparing me to Jimmy, which is cool. Jimmy's got his own style, I got my own style. You know, I, I can't copy Jimmy's style because then that doesn't make my own style, right? And this is my channel, so I want to have my own style to it. You know, if you don't like it, then it's, it's cool. I'm not hurt by it. But to get his point through, he put all caps and all that did was make my eyes bleed. 
and I think this is pretty much the top five. Like, good job. You didn't comment once. You comment three times in the same video. You repeat what you commented before, and then you add something extra to it. So it's like repeat extra, repeat extra, and you did that three times, and in all caps. My suggestion for you for the next hater comment is to plan it out. You know, put it into one comment, and if you're gonna use caps use it not so aggressively use it conservatively it just makes it more tasteful if you go all caps it's like so amateur like oh my god my hating comments so weak that i have to put caps on there to make it stand out more the ugly asian ape is not getting laid by any white girls sit down you better cock if you're gonna hate on my channel make sure you point out the exact person you're hating on for this comment on the video this whole entire interview there was only one asian person and that was me so i'm assuming it's referring to me ugly ape you know that's your opinion that's cool i i don't know i this it's so dull if i would make this comment better as a hater comment i would make it more directional i would like uh, put a timestamp on exactly which part you're commenting on and refer to that little bit where I say something stupid or like a, a white girls hating on me at that point and then that's the reason why you made this comment because you know this white girl is not gonna sleep with you because she thinks you're ugly and you actually told me exactly where that's happening and I can go oh yeah I think he might be right because at that exact time this white girl hated on me I feel a little bit hurt because there's video proof that this actually happened in your hater comments. It's slightly true and the possibility of it being true is higher now because you actually paid attention to where in the video this white girl hated on me and I most likely will not get laid by this white girl. But other than that, it was so general, I, I didn't know who or what you were referring to so I knew it was pretty much toward me but I just, you know, there wasn't no kick there was no bang to it and i kind of looked at it and go eh, shrugged most people do that all the time anyway this is what i call a hater question how ugly are you should i answer the question and reply back to you are you looking for an answer or is this a rhetorical question are you saying don't answer it because we obviously know the answer you are ugly this comment needs more direction how i would make it better hey you know what we should do on your channel we should do a video and the question for that video is how ugly are you that would be hilarious that would make more sense i'm synced in because i think you're giving me a suggestion for a video at the end of the comment you insult me i'm just like oh this guy seems nice i think he's gonna comment and he's gonna give me a suggestion for another video oh he just made fun of me it hurts a bit more than this comment right now this one's similar to the other one you're queer same thing you know tie me in somehow in the beginning give me an intro get me focused on your comment make it seem like it's actually suggestive and you have something to say about my channel that is productive and then say you're queer at the end i'm like haha i'm just kidding you're queer It'd be more funny and I, I would actually pay more attention to the comment and be more offended, but I'm not. It's like you're running down the street and you see me on the street and you go, hey man, you're a queer. Like, I don't even know you. I have no emotional tie to you. And hey, let's just say you made an introduction and I spent five minutes talking to you. And then at the end of that five minute conversation, you went, hey, you're a queer and you ran off. I'd probably be more offended because I just wasted five minutes of my time talking to you. Haha, <laughs> you're not 5'8", you're 5'7", I'm most... I don't know why I even put this in here. I lost the inch on YouTube apparently. I didn't even know this is a hidden comment. I think it's more of an observation comment. You guys gotta be more specific. If you're gonna hate, hate. If you're gonna comment, comment. That's all for now. I'm pretty sure I'll get more hating comments. Make them better people. Maybe you'll be in a video and I might actually give you a standing ovation for that hating comment that you gave me. But for the time being, check out Mcube for vlogs. I know I haven't been editing my vlogs. I will, I'll get back into the group. M squared, look at the other videos and uh, I'll see you next week. M squared out.